<laughs> Keeping young women interested in science is the passion of Fordham biologist Jennifer Juneweber. This month, she invited Bronx high school students to Fordham's Lewis Calder Biological Field Station in Armonk, New York, where they took part in grant-funded field experiments. I took a net, but it was kind of smaller than this, and a jar, and I just caught it. <laughs> It was like on a flower. So there's just not enough women who are interested in science and continue that interest into their careers. So we really thought it would be cool if we could bring the girls out to nature and do some hands-on um, experiments and science with them so they could get exposed to something that I never was exposed to when I was in high school. So my hope is that they will see in the people that are volunteering today and the people who go to Rosedale from our own lab all the time that you know you can do this stuff. I wanted to to like just look at insects and to see it up close is completely amazing. It's like they're us because you see their heart beating. They're us because they're us because you see them moving. One of the techniques we used was to collect what we call zooplankton. These are the little animals in the lake, and we used what's called the Schindler trap. And the Schindler trap, you lower it in the water, okay, and it collects a certain amount of water, and you bring it up. It filters the water out. But what's left are the little creatures. Then we brought back these zooplankton and phytoplankton to the lab and we looked at them under the microscope so that they can see the sorts of life that live in this lake and that you get different life depending on whether you sample from the bottom of the lake or from the top of the lake and different things like that. We want to make sure that the animals are okay too because they contribute to the ecosystem a lot too, just like humans. Good luck! Wow. Good luck.